Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for. This isn't the daily vibes, okay? This isn't the daily vibes. This is the reading for Pisces. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the second week of August. Now I could I could just start this video over right now, but I'm not going to. Because I feel like this is part of the reading, you know. I think that there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of uh not sure, you know, messing up, <laughs> messing up, uh, a lot of things going on, a hard time concentrating for you. Anyway, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and anyway, anyway, uh, let's get back to business here. So a lot of scattered thoughts is what I'm trying to say. So this is for the week of August 10th through the 16th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's just see what comes up. We're going to get some of these. I'm going to tag the first week of August to the end of this. Seems to be very prominent. So I think that you're doing a lot of thinking this re week. I think you got a lot on your plate. You're trying to, using a lot of discernment. You know, same thing as thinking. You know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of thoughts, a lot of memories, a lot of uh, why. Why is this happening? That kind of thing. Uh, trying to make sense of things. One more card, please. There it is. So what do we have for Pisces? This is for the week of August 10th through the 16th. Tankard. Celebration. Fun. Enjoyment. Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. I think that I think that's where you've been. Bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. So that's positive. So maybe you're getting a new job or you're getting a raise or some sort of money is coming to you. You've been feeling tied down. I think you're going to continue to feel that way this week. I think your intuition is going to be talking to you and you're going to need to use discernment in a way. You know, are you ignoring your intuition? Don't ignore your intuition. I would advise you to really pay attention to the daily vibes this week. I don't know why. I don't like to uh, promote myself in that way. It's not who I am, but that came out for a reason. Uh, tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. So perhaps you need to have a little bit of fun, Pisces, you know? Maybe you need the money to have some fun. Um, something is coming, though, that is good by the looks of things. So what do we have for Pisces for the first week of August? Not the first week. See, it feels like we're going back. We keep on going back. You know, it's weird. It's very, very weird energy for you. It's time to move forward, so you can't keep going back, whatever that means. It's time to focus on the future. So what do we have for Pisces? King of Swords. King of Swords is somebody who is very discerning. This is the King of Discernment. Okay, this is uh, really, really needing to be logical. I feel like for some of you, may you may be dealing with a father or somebody in a position of authority that is making a decision. You could be dealing with the law. You could be dealing with a judge. You could be dealing with um, somebody in protection services this week. The King of Swords is a protector, somebody that is very forthright. This person makes a decision and they stick to it. Maybe that's the energy that you need to uh, take on. This is somebody that doesn't budge. You may also be receiving some challenging information this week, okay, from somebody. Uh, this is somebody that speaks the truth. It's the truth. It's the way, it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So you may be hearing some sort of information from somebody. It may be something that you don't want to hear. 
The hangman reversed would be your energy because you represent the hangman, which is refusing to go in and struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson, uh, won't change your mind. You may be stuck on, you know, wasting your time or sacrificing yourself for a situation trying to prove a point. We have a point here and this is trying to prove a point. So we have somebody here that may be very stubborn trying to prove a point when they need to really think about what it is that they're holding on to. Um, three of Cups. Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. So I see a relocation here. Somebody may be relocating. The time is up. This is a dead end. It really is a dead end. There's nothing left. There's no more growth. This season is over. There could be a third party situation here. And this is your celebration. Okay. So we do have a, a celebration that is coming up. Maybe it's a get together. Maybe by the end of the week. There's something that is definitely coming to an end with this Ten of Swords. It looks like it's you know, the battle is over. Somebody has been hurt very extremely in reverse. It's an extreme. This is a bloody, okay? So when it's it's bloody, it looks like it's, a, it's you know, a desperate situation that has come to an end. Um, this is, it's over. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. And I think, you know, maybe you should celebrate that. Maybe you should celebrate this ending. You know, there is an ending here. And maybe you should be out having fun. You've been tied down. You've been frustrated. I think that it's time for you to make a more logical decision. You don't have anything to prove to anybody. Maybe you've been holding on because you got to prove that you were right. And that's, you know, you don't have to prove that you were right. You don't have to. If it's impacting your happiness, then you weren't right. If you're not happy, then you really weren't right. Anyhow, um, th this is about happiness. You should be happy. You should be out celebrating life. So I think that this week you need to let go of whatever it is that you've been hanging on to. You need to be logical. You need to stick to your decision to, or you need to make a decision based on truth, based on facts. Okay, because this is something based on facts. It's very factual. You have a new opportunity here, uh, Pisces. All right, that's a, that's taking a new opportunity. The Four of Cups up, up, <laughs> reversed. This is let go of the regret. It's time to end the stagnation. It's time to look forward. So I think that you are going to be given an opportunity this week. An opportunity to look forward and be happy you have an opportunity for happiness here um ooh, ten of pentacles reverse now the ten of pentacles reverse is short-lived success it's financial disaster it's uh false impressions it's the collapse of an empire it's somebody that is has a very unstable business or unstable home life who may have been pretending that it was something that it was not. I This is really, really struggling. Struggling with control. This is ego. There is somebody here with a very big ego that has a point to prove. They're trying to prove something. But this Three of Cups is is partying, having fun. This is this is something coming back from the dead or a death experience, something like that. This Ten of Swords reversed. Could be a near death experience. This is the worst has happened. This is also moving on. It could be freedom, freedom from suffering. You've been in some sort of situation that you have been suffering. It could have been a long-term relationship. There's freedom here. I feel like there's freedom here. You're going to be broken free from something. And maybe that's why you celebrate. 
It's time to celebrate your freedom or something like that. Ten of so, ten of uh, pentacles re reversed is uh, losing it all. Somebody is is losing it all. But there's a new opportunity here. Somebody you live with, this could be the collapse of an empire or the end of a legacy, the end of a family legacy. There's going to be an upcoming celebration, but it comes after a significant ending and a relocation. There's going to be a relocation in your near future. Now, yeah, this is the end of a commitment. This party is over. The honeymoon is over. The commitment is over. The relationship is over. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. There's there's no compatibility here. There's no working with this person. There, There's a third party situation. Whoever, it, 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 whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this person is... Uh, they may be having fun with other people, you know? Uh... There could be some gossip here as well. There's a lot of gossiping or a lot of talking going on. I feel like you have a new opportunity that is waiting for you to grab onto it, but you are stubbornly holding on to something that uh, isn't interested. It almost feels like it's not interested in you, and I'm sorry to say that. Four of Swords. This is the death of an idea or a person, and this is as well. I feel it is. So this is uh, a need to go within. I think it's it's really time for you to uh, let go. I think you you're you've been feeling really empty inside. I think that. There's been a lack of harmony, okay? There's been a lack of peace. All is not well, okay? Four, 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 four. Two of them are reversed. And this is a, this is a death or, an, or something like that. I think it's time for you to build a new foundation. You're probably in some, this is false impressions. You have, may have built up a false foundation with somebody trying to prove a point. I think there's some sort of invisible forces here that are trying to break you free from something. And I feel like this week, I feel like you may be broken free. You may be broken free from this. I think you've been putting in energy and investing, or this week you have been in, in, investing in something that is dead. This is investment. These are both dead. So it feels like, you know, it's in the, it's, there's no commitment here. There's no happiness here. There's definitely going to be an upcoming celebration. It could be a celebration of life. I think you're going to be receiving some sort of information that... Uh, breaks you free from some, somebody or something that either you've been holding on to them or they've been holding on to you. This is not learning a lesson. The hangman reverse is somebody that is obsessed with control, that uh, will not change, that is uh, very egotistical, that is missing other opportunities. They're missing up other opportunities because they're so stubborn, too set on, you know, this is the way it goes. So they're missing another opportunity and therefore, you know, it's like the universe says, no, 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 no. You're going to be enlightened even if it's the hard way. And there's a lack of enlightenment here. With the sun reversed and the hay man reversed, you need to really go within. So, this is, this is sadness. This could be a broken marriage. I mean, the sun reversed is sadness, poor logic, unhealthy, false impressions, lack of clarity. Not being honest. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. And there's loneliness due to disillusionment. But anyway, I feel like this week, somebody is giving up. They've, they've been feeling empty inside or dead inside. And they have nothing left. There's nothing left. There's no life left here. 
So anyway, I feel like this, this, this is messy. I think it's messy. I think it's time to clean up this mess. Uh, I feel like um, you could be dealing with, oh my God. We have death reversed and the emperor. So we could, this is, we have somebody here that is very, very uh, controlling, put it that way. And I feel like you're, you may, you know, the emperor in reverse is somebody that is corrupt, that deserts you in the time of need. And this could be your energy. This could be you or somebody else. This is the emperor reverse is not taking responsibility. Somebody that is interested in helping. Somebody that does things for their own good, that only cares about themselves. This is somebody that is power hungry and deserts you in the time of need. Now, this could be your energy, or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. This is a tyrant, somebody that is entitled, that is mean, that is, uh, that is uh, disorderly, put it that way. Um, death reverse could be an incident, could be an incident, or an accident, or even uh, an ending, okay? And it could happen all of a sudden, okay? It could definitely happen all of a sudden. Um, there's been some sort of delay, but the de delay is over. I think we definitely have a dead end here and you, you know, you may, you may need to retreat as well. I think that something is going to happen this week, week, you're going to receive some sort of news that tells you that something is over and it's hard to deal with. I think that you're going to be, uh, emotional over it. I think you're going to be emotional, but I think you're also going to be cool. You're going to handle it. You're going to be emotional, but you're also going to handle it um, the hard way. You know, you're, you may harden you. It may harden you a little bit. Um, this is a week of realizing that something is really over. There could be a change in the home, a change in the residence. I see relocation here. There is definitely some relocation here. Somebody has built up some false impressions at home or in the business. You could be dealing with a business owner um, that is going down. You know, this is a boss or the business is collapsing or the home is not of sufficient value or something like that. There's a loss of value here in the home. Um, or the business, something, the home and the business. It's the collapse. It's the collapse. Um, it's definitely a very messy situation. It is messy. Um, somebody has been unrealistically holding on. This is unrealistically holding on, probably to a third party situation. They've been let, it's like they know that whoever they're dealing with is playing with somebody else, but ignoring it. I feel like the holding on is getting old. There's definitely been a level of indecision. Somebody has held back, been held back by fear. And now they're letting go of fear. They're, and things could get out of control with the emperor reversed. There could be an angry outburst ahead. This person could get very, very angry. Anyway, this week I feel like you are going to receive some challenging information that probably forces you to let go. Good luck.